So guys, what do you want to talk about? Oh my goodness, a couple weeks ago, didn't I say it, didn't I predicted it? Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins versus The Rock and Roman Reigns. The Bloodline versus the Workhorses, oh my freaking god. To be fair, a couple weeks ago, I said Ro Rollins versus The Rock which I said is a totally dream match. And I just hypothetically, what did I say? Hypothetically thought about Rollins and Cody versus Rock and Roman. We all know that Rollins one week ago or two weeks ago, he offered his help to Cody Rhodes against the bloodline. And everyone on Twitter is doing the following thing, they're thinking that Seth Rollins is gonna turn on Cody and he's gonna join the bloodline. I don't know, that doesn't make any sense, but it's a good hypothetical scenario as well, which will lead to Cody losing and maybe doing a third WrestleMania. But I think the fans are sick of waiting for Cody to finish his story. So it's gonna be more like Cody will actually have the help of Seth Rollins in order to take the bloodline and after the bloodline fails to retain the title, The Rock will be like, so I came into the bloodline so I can be surrounded by a bunch of losers and maybe that will be the whole lead up to Roman versus Rock at WrestleMania 41 possibly. But I don't know, I'm really hyped about this match. Possibly this was the greatest Grayson Waller effect show we've ever had. Even though I love Edge, marry me please. Uh, we had now a better Grayson Waller effect. Austin Theory was there. He was kind of a, in a strange role. And I kind of wanted to see how Grayson Waller attacked Austin Theory. Because Austin Theory tried to steal his moment even though we were in Australia, but it was weird. And yeah, I'm really hyped to see that match, baby. And I'm really curious when it's gonna happen. I believe that there used to be one pay-per-view before WrestleMania, but I think it will be a stretch for everyone because we all know that Rock is having a stacked schedule, but it's gonna be interesting. Maybe at WrestleMania we're gonna have something like that, but that match will be actually interesting if we're gonna see it before WrestleMania, because if we see it before WrestleMania and Cody beats, and Cody has said beats Roman and Rock before the WrestleMania, that will mean that maybe the Roman will retain at WrestleMania. I don't know, that kind of match will give us kind of a hint what will happen at WrestleMania and it's kind of kind of really funny to just think about it. And also, Friday is not here yet, we haven't heard from Rock, we haven't heard from Roman, we only heard Cody how he's challenging Rock because he slapped him on the face, in the face, at the face, exactly that he did and uh, that's uh, all we know so far. But uh, nonetheless, I'm super hyped about it and you should be hyped too and uh, everyone should be hyped and I think final two things, this match should happen before WrestleMania and it's gonna be main event, huge match actually, people don't realize how huge that match is gonna be because it's basically the best people in the company ever in one ring. Uh, I mean, there, there are probably people who are who have been better in that company, but these one, these ones are the top ones right now, and uh, it's it's really interesting to see them in one ring. And maybe this match will actually uh, hint us if uh, Cody is gonna turn, uh, if Seth is gonna turn on Cody, and The Rock will turn on Roman, or Seth will actually help Cody, all of that kind of stuff. Anyway, it's it's really interesting times in wrestling now and I really hype to see what uh, they're gonna do with uh, that uh, dream match scenario, whatever you want to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one. And by the way, you can like, subscribe and all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Peace.